Welcome back. You tune into your Feel Good Morning Show Expresso right here on SABC3. It's almost time to say goodbye, but not before we leave you with an awesome recipe here. We have Chef Brad Ball in studio. Dude, always nice to have you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, so we've be been back. we've been doing with some, you know, working with some fish today in the kitchen, and you are passionate when it comes to working with seafood. Absolutely. Um, uh, what what we what we're here to sort of promote today is uh, is Sassy, which is the South African Sustainable Seafood Initiative, That's and. It. Uh, you know, what it is basically, it's a guideline to um, for consumers to sort of you know, what fish we should be buying and we and we shouldn't be buying. You know, it's not yeah. a sort of an endless pit. The ocean doesn't sort of have you know everything for us if all of the up, time. It's up, you know, you know if that's it's done, it. it's done. You Absolutely. don't want to get to that point. So, so first of all, before we chat to how people can know about all those different fishes that you can and can, cannot use, what are we making? Right, we're making um, uh, a little uh, um, nishwa, a warm nishwa salad, and we're using gurnard today. Um, this gurnard, okay. That's gurnard, yeah. Um, uh, Previously, I would have used a fish like king clip, which yeah. has a beautiful sort of uh, firm texture. That's yeah. now on the orange list. Um, we want to use fish that are all on the green list, which are sustainable. Um, we have uh, more than enough stock of. So, uh, uh, Gurner is yeah. a great replacement for yeah. that. So, on your screen, you can see a list of the uh, the green list there on your screens right now. Um, so, which is all the good ones, and obviously Gurner on the green list. But there's, you know, people would like to know. This is an education thing. It comes down to education. People That's should it. know what's sustainable, what's Absolutely. not. And there's some tools that you can use, which is great. Yeah. Something like the pocket guide. There's a pocket guide. There's a pocket guide um, it's just simply a little uh, sort of fold up um, paper pocket guide and it's got your your green your orange and your red your red list is you know fish that you you, you don't want to go anywhere near you know the, the, yeah. the stocks are very very limited then there's the orange list which um, you, you you can but we would rather that you don't Choose and then to. green list absolutely uh, sort of uh, go for it that is we, we, we can use those we can buy them we can sell them we can consume them That's so great. yeah green list um, uh, is, is the way to go exactly and of course as he made it easy for you guys as well if you're in store you're not sure what fish to buy or there's a couple of names all you need to do is get that the name of the fish and then there's SMS number on your on the screen right now it's a fish MS and that will give you back as to whether that fish is on the green list orange or the red list and help you make your decision right there so so because of this list this is interesting I told you a little bit earlier that I normally see these fish. I love seafood as well you, you I would go into a, a, a store I would see this fish I, I wouldn't recognize it and I wouldn't buy it yeah. Well, you know, that's, that's what we're trying to do with Sassy is to, to educate people. That's what it's all about is, is education. So um, yeah. uh, you know, if you go into, into a store and you see fish and they're, they're, they're labeled and they're named, exactly. you know, just simply um, on the fish MS number, which is um, on the screen, um, yeah. just, just type in the name of the fish and uh, you send it off and almost immediately you'll get a response from them saying whether it's on the green list, orange list, red list. Whether you're in a restaurant, whether you're at your fishmonger, wherever you might be, Anything. use it. You know, um, uh, and, and, and if it comes back on the red list, don't purchase it or get up and leave the restaurant. Right. All right. Let's get into the recipe, man. What's been going on? You put the gurnet yeah. in there right now. The similar gurnet, to king clip, you say. Similar to great. king clip, yeah. Obviously, it's not as uh, as, a, as a bulky fish, not as as uh, as, as thick. Yeah. Um, and but I mean, fish, obviously, it, it, you know, it really doesn't take a lot of time to prepare. Absolutely, especially when it's uh, when it's this thin. But we're doing niche style, so we, anyhow, we just got a little bit of uh, some potatoes. We're going to toss olives. Basically, it's just a it's a warm salad. Yeah? Nice, cool. Niche so style. style. If you would like the ingredients to this lovely fish recipe that we're doing today, what is it called again? It's a gurnet. It's a gurnet niche Gurnet niche Just SMS the keyword fish. Two three three seven two eight. Fantastic recipe. That looks so nice and fresh. I love it. Here we go. It's all about summer, right? It's that, all about you know, summer. Yeah? So, summer uh, color, fresh. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. All right. right. So um, we're just going to get this warm. We're going to get our fish um, uh, cooked right through. Got yeah. a couple of caper berries here. We're going to slice. But um, you know, from from my point of view, and the reason why I yeah. support the Sassy Initiative is because. It's, it's important to educate people, you know. Um, uh, yeah, as, a, as a chef, I feel responsible yeah. that when you come and eat to my restaurant, that you're, you're not just enjoying you know, what we're preparing, but you're also learning you know, what you should and shouldn't be using. You know, it's all about sustainability at the end of the day. At the end of the day, exactly, because like we said, we don't want to reach a point where there's nothing left of a certain fish like king clip. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. Yeah, it's, uh, it's important to make sure that yeah. my kids, uh, growing up for me, um, uh, we used to catch Khalyun off the rocks at Cape Point. Yeah. And, you know, that, that for me is one of the most amazing fish, but you know, we don't eat it anymore, and I want my kids at some stage to be able to enjoy that fish. Right? Exactly, so it all starts with you making that choice. That's it. Just with you guys. All right. That's it. Okay, so let's so get going a little bit here. of rocket in there, and mm. fresh nissoir. There we go. Ready to play. And you're up. putting it in a box. In a box. This, you know, this is our version of, uh, I suppose, a Nishwa street food. That's exactly um, it. We've been showing you street food today on our, on our tourists and our travels. 
Right, and a lot of this, a lot of the fish, you know, fresh fish, so long as it is fresh, yeah. you don't have to cook it completely oh. through. You know, you can always leave it just slightly um, undercooked, mm. um, which is which is what we want to we. We don't want to cook it so that it's so dry. So no, you don't want to. You go. want fish should be nice and juicy still. Nice and juicy, exactly. Oh. What do you do with this? That fish looks amazing. Move that out the wow. way. And, and this gurnet, as far as I understand, is quite a, quite a, you know, not a, not a uh, expensive fish at all. It's no, it's cheap. not. Yeah. And, and that's what, um, yeah, some of these green listed fish now are, yeah. um, are very, very reasonably priced. And I think yeah, it, should, it should reflect um, the, the availability, you know. The green listed fish is more widely available, yeah. obviously, and there's more of it. Yeah. And um, we, should be, we should be using it. And, uh, exactly. I'm just going to finish that with a couple yeah. of uh, little soft boiled quail awesome. eggs. And, yeah. and we'll if you would like to know more about more of the sustainable fishing initiative from Sassy, we'll put all those details on our website, expressoshow.com, where you can get the pocket guide, the fishermen's number, so that you can really familiarize yourself of which fish are on what list. All right. Look, that looks amazing. Look at that. Crazy stuff, dude. Fantastic. So I've eaten many a fish in my life. I'm quite a seafood fan as well. I'm going to try this fish. Absolutely. Brad, thank you so much You're for welcome. coming through, yeah. man. Always a pleasure having you. Welcome. Um, you know, just with regards to Sassy, you know, the, the, the basic thing is you, know, you, you, you have a choice, make it green. You know? so, exactly. Uh, make that call, use the fish MS and um, make the sustainable, make the correct choice. Perfect. Brad, thank okay. you so much, man. Thank this you. is thank amazing. You. Try Gurnet. I am going Gurnet. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. It's Friday, baby. Cheers. By partnering with the WWF, we found goodness in sustainable fishing practices. Pick and pay always there for you.